my review of Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2. Half-Life 1. Half-Life 1, one of the most notable and iconic not only FPS video games, but iconic sci-fi video games of all time. Half-Life 1 served more of a traditional alien invasion type of survival scientific horror game for anything, if asked by me. We clear out places full of aliens, we escape dangerous hazardous places, and we go through a scientific lair. We eventually travel through alien worlds and fight alien bosses, and then we eventually meet a very mysterious demise at the hands of the G-Man, which paved way into a definite sequel, which does eventually happen. Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2, just as notable and just as iconic as the very first game, served as more of a dystopian post-apocalyptic setting more than anything. We explore the post-apocalyptic world, we talk to war-torn residents, we have post-apocalyptic efforts via resistance, and we see the tyrannical rule of Breen and the Combine. It was more of a geopolitical cascade than anything, since the rest of the world had been destroyed and war-torn and inhabitable a great deal. And what's left of being ruled and inhabited is still just as war-torn. It also had more in-depth characterization than the first game. We started learning that Gordon Freeman wasn't the only person who had put in effort to deal with a post-seven-hour war planet. Because of the Combine, I also really like how it was about space politics, space technology, and space colonialism, which really had more emphasis on the alien invasion S part that Half-Life 1 also had. It, also, it was also really nice to see characters like Eli and Kleiner come back, which adds on to the characterization that we had before because I always like how characters come back, especially in a more evolved sense, in a more better improved graphic sense, to really, really show they never ever gave up or stopped being consistent with the characterization just because there were graphical improvements and graphical evolution.